Intuitive Machines, LNR. One company, one story. Welcome to another story, another video in my One Company, One Story series. This time it's uh, Intuitive Machines, also known as LUNR. Here comes the amateur legalese. I began investing in companies in their stocks in the late 70s, but I'm not a certified investment professional. My style and history of investing is described in Dream Invest Live, a book I wrote by request, which came out as the Great Recession, the Second Great Depression, began. Bad timing, eh? My personal finance blog about my finances is trimbathcreative.net. I am not an investment professional. This is not financial advice. This time it's about intuitive machines, which sounds more like a, an AI or a robotic company, but may be hinted at better by its trading symbol, L-U-N-R, Lunar. Get it? They're doing space stuff and more. They're offering many of the services necessary for lunar exploration, uh, transportation after launch, uh, Earth-based space communications, moon-centered communications, a hopping rover, and more. Let's see, where's that picture? There we go. There's your lunar satellite network. Without getting all geeky and producing animations I'd botched, the process is something like get launched by SpaceX, then, or someone else, then Lunar's vehicle gets that lunar vehicle into a lunar orbit. Their lander lands and contains a rover that hops around as a way to deliver sensors and such to the landing site. I'm sure there'll be variations. I still like the idea of an orbital transfer vehicle, especially one that can be refueled and reused. Cool. I think they got a picture of that thing somewhere in here. Well, let's not delay. 50 years ago, this idea would seem like a natural, building the infrastructure to get to and work on the moon and in space. Personal note, about 45 years ago, I started my career with a degree in aerospace and ocean engineering. Uh, space was going to be the future. Space and public opinion, however, was swayed by near-term appeals. So budgets shrunk, long-term ideas were shelved. A few years in commercial space, uh, Boeing commercial space, uh, would have led nowhere. So much for that career. 20 years ago-ish, SpaceX announced their audacious plans. They weren't the only ones, but spatial commercial space became a possibility. Well, at least according to NASA. Let's go to the, the NASA site for this. The Intuitive Machines 1 mission objective is to place a lander called Nova Sea on the crater rim of Malapert A near the southern pole of the moon. The commercially built lander will carry five NASA payloads and commercial cargo. Launch is scheduled for June 2023. Now that's only 20, that's only months away as I type, rather than uh, deadlines measured in years or decades. They are a public company with NASA as a, uh, a partner, customer and partner. I'll be hoping for, well, let's put it this way. This is a good example of an early commercialization of space. It started with NASA contracts, which is more civil than commercial. That's frequently the way such things begin. It can be possible to be profitable and sustainable to work on civil contracts, but I'll be hoping for true commercialization, which will be business to business. They're attempting something complex and uh, impressive, uh, but then SpaceX's idea of recovering and reusing rocket stages seemed audacious. Now it's taken for granted. Practice brings public complacency, which is a sign of public acceptance. I don't know if they'll succeed, but this is uh, the nature of early ignoring 50 years of waiting. Technology in the realm of investing is also an example of risk and reward. They are also attempting the parts that are simplified relatively, but not having to deal with Earth's gravity or an atmosphere. Space is difficult, but uh, the simple design choices can simplify their tasks. The stock's price <laughs> yeah, has been wild. This is off of Google Finance. If it'll be kind enough to show up, there we go. Uh, <laughs> With barely any history of trading, it's already had a 250% day, the, the 251 that they mention here. And, uh, you know, so that was after going public. But, and they've come back down to, well, Earth. Uh, since then, uh, it's trying to find out what it's, it's going to be at. And, of course, success will, will always change that, and failures will have their issues as well. In any case, rocket analogies are allowed to describe the price. I cheer on those who are making the company happen. Um, these people are, are are working on the things that I've been waiting for for so long. 
So I wish them well. Uh, with that, I'll uh, enjoy watching their progress and staying tuned. Thanks for listening.